like the pop rock singer-songwriter Corinne Jane is preparing for her latest gig in the capital, born in Germany, but having grown up here in the UK, the musician has recently released a new EP. We're going to be catching up in just a moment. First, here is one of the tracks from that record. This is Floodlights. Let's take this I'm delighted to say that uh, Corinne is with us now. Lovely to see you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, there are four tracks on the EP, and they're all quite different. Was that deliberate? Did you, did you set out to achieve that? No, I think when you write music, you have different moods. I mean, like day-to-day -day life, you know, everyone you know, wakes up every day with a different mood, different sentiment. So really it's a reflection of a different mood, but a similar kind of topic. So you've got a song like Floodlight, where, Floodlight sorry, where I'm kind of poking fun at myself because I'm a bit of a romanticist. I like things to be like a Hollywood film, and they, mm. they rarely are. So I kind of poke fun at myself with that. And a song like Echoes of My Mind, for example, which is a much more haunting, kind of cerebral number, is actually a song that deals with grief. And what I found that, for me, it was a song about heartache kind of grief, but for other people that listened to it, it kind of meant something else to them, more of a, you know, losing a loved one and that kind of thing. So it's really almost a representation of different moods and the different facets we go through in life. Yeah, do you think it's, it's interesting how people interpret music in different ways? Like you said, for you it was a heartbreak song, but actually lots of people have taken it to, to help them deal with grief in, in that way. Is, is it important that people take your music and do with it in themselves, in a way? Yes, and it's, it's a funny thing for me is that Although for me, the songs have got a personal tale, I like to leave it open for people to interpret it however they may will. So when someone comes up to me and says, look, that song meant so much to me because it reminded me of this person I don't know anymore, someone I've lost, and makes me think of them. And I also recently had someone who was a fan of one of my songs and it, it you know, inspired them to get in touch with um, an estranged family member. And it's stories like that that means a lot to me because it makes me think that what I'm doing has an impact on other people's lives as well as my own. Yeah, you, you say that you, you know, you grew up on a diet of 90s pop. <laughs> you know, did your did your your background also influence your music? You know, parent, uh, your mother certainly France, and you you were born in Germany. Did that have any spin on on what you created? Probably, but it must be so subconscious. I wouldn't know where to begin with pinpointing exactly where those things would have influenced me. I think mm. growing up in Germany, um, you know, obviously I was exposed to all the international pop music anyway. But um, I guess. I suppose living in Germany and listening to also European pop music and also French pop music where there's a lot of focus on lyrics, for example. Mm. And I always think that that's, that's the difference also between French music and English music is that the French love a good lyrical story as well. And I think that kind of importance has probably also had an impact with me wanting to write something that's not only melodic but lyrically interesting as well. Yeah, tell us about the gig which is coming up on Monday and, and hugely exciting experience. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. It's in a church. I've never done a gig church. A gig church? A church gig rather <laughs> before. Um, so I'm supporting a guy called Paul Kirkpatrick and it's a very cinematic experience. There's going to be lots of visuals on screen and um, so I'm going to be supporting him and I'm going to be bringing my uh, violinist and guitarist with me and we're going to be doing an intimate acoustic gig. Um, so there'll be some songs of me behind the piano, some of me kind of just striking my stuff, my stuff and having, having a little sing really. And um, I mean, it's a cool venue because I've, I've googled it and you, you know, you've got pictures of you know the Beatles. It's have done atmosphere, a photo shoot there, hasn't it? And yeah, history and there. history as well. Uh, Corinne, it's been lovely to talk to you. The uh, the EP it's out now, mm -hmm. uh, and the gig it's at the Old St Pancras Church, which is at uh, Monday the 18th, uh, and of course support, uh, supporting uh, that uh, uh, very visual artist as well. Yes. Love to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. There we go. That is uh, Corinne Jane. Head down to that gig uh, on Monday if you can. Right.